you're here for a moment? Our journey seems to be coming to an end. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. Constellation has given me a home, and I will always be grateful. But I also feel... ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too. But the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost, and someone else entirely. If we do not see each other again, then this is goodbye. I am proud that I was present for this journey. We did it! We have all the I artifacts! Have things I, I can't wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about Parallel Universe Theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? I'll have to check all my charts and double check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. Hey, Andresia. You know, in case we get into the kind of stuff. trouble we always do. Guess you handle it, all Look, right. Dad said Since that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the I'm Unity. Sure you, you don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You told me that fun was important. I assumed you were joking and dismissed it out of hand. But... Having thought about it, I wonder now if you were right, or at least if I were too quick to reject the idea. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary, that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now, and... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Thank you. I have always believed, no, hoped, that is true. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet, I would not presume to think we have had similar experiences. I would hope you would do the same. I... Uh, promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from one planet to the next. Living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. A 
follow. Back to it then. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled. And the Starborn are sure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. Right then. I know that. And believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that, what happens? Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I don't know about you, but after all this, there's no way I can just stop. I have to know what happens, what this was all for. But if you need time, I can wait. We wouldn't be here without you, so we can let you do the honors whenever you're ready. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather hey, than Dad. later. Wanna hear Admiral a Logan's office shouldn't be terrible. Uh, sure. Sure. I've yeah. thought about it, and as much okay. as I would love to see the, the unity paper? the way really Keeper ran. Aquilus has experienced it, I'm I don't know. not coming with you. Skyscrapers can't Thank you. Jump. <laughs> I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. Good one. And I can't leave my parents. Hey, I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. Bet you never expected to end up involved. Take care of yourself. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely I am told that is the best way to deliver if we do not see each other again goodbye captain from a statistical standpoint you have been an unusually effective member of this team do you have a new set of orders for me today I will go where We're so close. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all.
Yes? You need something? Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. Is everything okay? Oh, I just don't I know. Just bracing for it. Hey, listen, uh you're probably wondering about Cora. I played it over in my head a thousand times and I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind, we'd both regret it. <laughs> Glad to know you still got that sense of humor of yours. Okay. Let's get it, huh? The unknown is right over the next band. Forgot to check the math on a few equations. The brain's long. Ah, uh, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Ah, uh, I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another newbie. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Did you know Walter is one of the richest people in the universe? There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage. Alas, well, I would like to take the final jump with everyone. I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, there might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Captain, it is.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. Everyone says that when they hear themselves for the first time. But no, you don't sound like this. At least, not this you. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many, human or alien, terrestrial or celestial? One day you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time, By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars.
You are reaching the edge of the starfield. Go further, and you will return to your original universe. We will be waiting for you, should you come back. Choices. 